Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 8. This time we have Xeon OS. So I have never tried this ROM before and this ROM is kind of really good ROM for Redmi Note 8 as far as my testing goes. So as you can see here Xeon OS B1.6 and other specification of the device. This is Android 15 based ROM. As you can see here Android 15. This is a final build of this ROM and maybe they are planning to release android 16 based rom for this device and as far as i can see this one is based on lineage os it is really stable actually there are few issues here and there but i will talk about them too so as you can see here the setting ui is pretty much similar to all other osp based android 15 rom and the control panel as you can see combined looks good as far as network connectivity goes, everything works perfectly fine. Bo LTE, Bo Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and everything working well. No issue at all. Lock screen option. We do get few options here as you can see. And we do get AOD with this ROM. So if I turn it on right now. And as you can see AOD. One thing which is really good about this ROM is the animations. So if I turn off the skin. As you can see here. Pretty good. And if I turn on. Pretty good. And if I lock the device with power button as you can see here the animations are really really good on this rom and if i use fingerprint as you can see here so the animations really good on this rom so i like this rom not only for animations but the performance is also really good on this rom so a few other things like wallpaper and style so we don't really get any kind of ai wallpaper here but we do get few default wallpapers as you can see with nothing wallpapers so as you can see here these are from nothing phones so as you can see they look good and few other options are available here like icon font and other things more rock screen option as you can see here aod and other options are available here nothing much going on pretty much similar to all other osp based rom so in that section pretty much similar to all other roms as you can see we can clone we can lock and these are the things available here notification pretty much similar storage as you can see by default it will take around 15 gb then you can install apps up to your liking battery backup is pretty good no issue at all but no fast charging option as you can see here you are getting all the battery related features like controlling the battery and also limiting the charge everything is a bible here sound and vibration no issue working well we do get few things here like power volume control and media show media options so these are the things available here modes option is available and in the display setting we do get adaptive brightness working perfectly fine dark mode and everything available here and for customization we do get status bar option here so status bar as you can see here quick pull down we can change battery icon style and also the percentage options so these are the customization we are getting with this rom nothing much actually accessibility option is available Secret and privacy, we do get both face and fingerprint unlock. And as I showed you, fingerprint unlock working perfectly fine. And the uh, face unlock also working, but slower side. So as you can see here, and I do like these animations. And we do get private space, as you can see. And in the more security and privacy option, we do get few other options like anti theft and other features. Location is working perfectly fine. Password and passkey option available, safety and emergency. In the system setting, we do get few other features here, like in the gestures options. So the quick tap option is available, but it does not work well. Most of the time it doesn't work, even though sensitivity is heavy now. But sometimes it does work, but sometimes it doesn't, as you can see here. Right now it's not working, but sometimes it does work. And we do get few other options here, like one hand mode and few other things here there is an option called monitor this is kind of new here and i haven't seen this feature on any other rom so monitor option is like show fps and the uses of cpu uses and everything temperature and everything so if you are doing game testing and everything you can turn it on actually you can turn it on for part app i did that actually while i was testing the game so i will show you that and few other things like we do get show me parts option here so as you can see here you can tweak the display and calibrate the display up to your liking so these are the things available here nothing much and swipe to screenshot is working well here no issue at all so if i swipe now so this one is also working 
For customization, we get special features options as you can see, game space is available. And miscellaneous option, as you can see, hide up list, ignore, Windows SQL Flex, multi window spoofing. So, if, so these are the things available here. Status bar option, as you can see. In the Moonlight setting, we do get few other customization like theme style and few things. Nothing much actually. In the gestures option, we do get double press power button option, pocket detection, three fingers up to gestures, and these things are available. Nothing much. So that's all what you are getting in the setting panel. And in terms of application, we are not getting a lot here. Although this is a GFs build, the only GFs we get is Play Store. Other I have installed here like Google Photos and other applications. So we do get MIUI camera here, and it is working well. Even 48 megapixel, the ultra wide sensor, micro sensor, everything is working well. And GCam is also working well, as you can see here, no issue at all. Google Photos Unlimited Storage is available and as you can see, fortunately, Magic Editor is also working here. So if I try now, edit and Magic Editor. Actually, it's working well. As you can see, so Magic Editor is working. And other things like WhatsApp is working well. And in terms of phone call, obviously, Bo LT and Bo Wi Fi working, but call recording is kind of not working. As you can see here, there is an application call background call recording. I did unavail it actually. As you can see here, it is unavailed, but as you can see here, I did try many times to record the call, but it always failed. So call recording is not working. And we don't really get Google Play Protect certification here. So you can't really use bank application. So about device, as you can see here, Google Play Protect certification is not available. And as for extra features, we do get circle to search, which is working well. So as you can see here, circle to search is working. And we do get FM radio here. FM radio is also working. In terms of games, I did play Call of Duty here in default setting. The gaming performance was amazing. You can get 45 to 60 FPS always when we are playing. So for gaming also, this is a pretty good ROM. As per animation goes and overall usability goes, this is an excellent ROM actually. The animations are pretty smooth as I said. That looks good and I really like the animations on this ROM. So pretty good. Everything worked really well and pretty smooth. No issue at all. So this is actually a really good ROM for Redmi Note 8. Obviously got few issues like there is no Google Play Protect certification and fast charging is also not working. But overall. This is an excellent ROM for Redmi Note 8 and if you want to try this ROM, I will put the ROM link in the description below. That's all about it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.